Zimbabwe has been stepping up maize imports to avert an impending crisis. The World Food Programme says its reserves of food aid could run dry by February. That's the peak of the lean season, leaving millions at risk. CGTN's Farai Makutoya reports. Zimbabwe's Treasury has doubled maize imports from 1.1 million US dollars in September to 4 million in response to an increase in the number of people left vulnerable by a severe drought. The Information Ministry says government has set aside a total of 1 billion Zimbabwe dollars, about 58 million US dollars for rural and urban food aid. This follows indications by the World Food Programme that the number of people in need of aid will exceed 8 million, more than half the country's population. So we are under 50% of the CEO's requirement between now and June. And therefore, you see the spike in the food insecurity levels. The UN agency is in a race to bring in the required grain in time for the lean season before the next harvest, which also hangs in the balance. A prolonged mid-season dry spell has scorched the land and left many farmers, including innocent Chinema, helplessly looking on at their weathering crops. The situation is now desperate. It's been too long since it has rained here. The heat has destroyed most of what we planted. He's not sure how he will survive if the situation remains the same. If he doesn't train in the next week, then there is no hope. We will lose everything. The crops, fertilizer, pesticides and other inputs will all be a complete waste. The Meteorological Services Department has, not for the first time, forecast impending storms. But given that previous predictions haven't materialized, not all farmers here are convinced. Time is running out quickly and unless the skies open up very soon, Zimbabwe won't be replenishing its silos this year, but instead sending out an SOS for more food assistance. Farai Makutuya, CGTN Harare, Zimbabwe.